I want to talk about a game that seems that it will actually get the end to the storyline that began like 17 years ago, StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Yeah. It's, it's oh my God. super exciting. We're, we're so excited about it, and honestly, very humbling to be a part of it, because these stories around Jim Raynor, around Zeratul, Artanis, Kerrigan, these have been going on since the original StarCraft, you know, and then here with StarCraft II, we're sort of finishing those in this epic conclusion, and it's coming soon, so we're, we're very, very excited about it. I mean, what's that like for you guys personally, to see, you know, the, the, the end of the storyline so close? Yeah. Yeah, a little, a little. Uh, it's 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 humbling. It's it's somewhat emotional, honestly, to to have worked on it so long and and see it come to this. And it, it's certainly yeah. not the end. We have a lot in store for StarCraft too. But this this story around these these heroes, these characters, is is yeah. happening with Legacy of the Void. So very excited to share it. We also have yeah, we have a special video piece for any of you right. who know where the story ended at the end of Heart of the Swarm. Let's take a look at the Whispers of Oblivion. <laughs> what does it mean to have prologue missions, and when the hell can I play them? <laughs> yeah, so Whispers of Oblivion is connecting, it's really the story of Zeratul, who we haven't seen other than in cutscenes in Heart of the Swarm, and it connects yeah. the end of Heart of the Swarm to the beginning of Legacy of the Void. And it's a three mission series that, that connects those things. Zeratul is focused on finding and the, the final clues to the Zelnaga prophecy. Um, and he puts those things together, you get a chance to play it. So, you, you, you know, we left Heart of the Swarm. We've got the Terrans trying to put together their destroyed civilization from the end right. of that, 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 that game. At the same time, we've got Kerrigan, the queen goddess of the Zerg, who has sworn to destroy this dark creature called Amon, who's making these yeah. monstrous hybrid creatures by combining Protoss and Zerg DNA with forbidden and foul technologies. And she's off in deep space trying to destroy this creature. And this yeah. is the opportunity for the Protoss now to re finally retake their home world, to finally retake Ire they lost so many years ago back in the original StarCraft game. And we've got Zeratul running around at the same time trying to put this prophecy back together. So these three missions will give you a chance to sort of catch up a little bit and understand more about this prophecy. Now, all of these missions will be free to all players, regardless of whether you've bought or purchased StarCraft at all. Ooh. So just sort of free to the world. But if you want early access, you need to pre-purchase Legacy of the Void. And we'll have a lot more details about that coming in the next month. And I know so many people are huge fans of the single player of you know, Legacy of the Void, but how do you balance working on that versus the multiplayer component with so, such a huge esports scene? Well, it's a really complicated process of having two teams, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and we have one group of guys whose sole focus is on the esports experience, the mm -hmm. multiplayer experience. Um, and making sure players can get into and understand that experience. We've got a whole other group of guys yeah. whose whole job is to make sure that we've got this amazing campaign experience. We've also got guys who are working in our arcade systems to make sure that we've got the best mod tools out there we can possibly provide our players. The real challenge, of course, is trying to keep everybody connected. Um, but everybody's so yeah. focused on making their part of the game a great, amazing experience. Just making sure they sort of sync up is, is the, big, the big challenge. I'm excited for the final end of the story. I'm excited for the new units at the final release. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out. Chris Siggity and Dustin Browder from Blizzard thank Entertainment. Thank you so, thank thank you so, so much, much for coming out. Awesome.